Hey, what's going on guys? Arctur Mark here, back with another Star Wars figure review. And today I have for you, I have a comic book pack. This is the Crimson Empire comic book pack featuring uh, Connor Jax and Kirk Kanos. And this is a really cool looking pack. It's one I've been after for for a while now. And I've just been kind of waiting and putting it off a little bit just to try and find a, a decent price on it. I didn't want to pay too much for it, but you know, I've seen a bunch of reviews on this and uh, it's been a very popular pack over the years. And this is from the 30th anniversary collection, so it's a few years ago now. But uh, it's a pretty pretty decent pack. Uh, it has some shortcomings, but uh, I think a lot of that is due because the, the figures, it's, they're kind of old at this point. Uh, at the time, they were really good. They're still really good figures, but, uh, you know, there's some strong points, but there's some weak points as well. So we'll get the figures out of the way for just a moment, and we'll give you a look at, well, we'll give you a look at the packaging real quick. Uh, I'll show you the comic book. Uh, there you see, this is a top, again, very black in the background uh, without the comic there. It says Star Wars comic backs, Crimson Empire. Connor Jacks and Kirk Kanos. And on the side you have sort of close-up images, comic images of the characters is Kirk Kanos. And there is Connor Jacks. And we flip it around. And again, a really cool, again, basically the same uh, image that we have on the, the front of the comic book. And you have, there's a look-up closer look at the two figures without their helmets you'll see that just broiled in battle there just dueling it out which they look really good uh, you see here this is little bio and you know background on the characters and the story I'll just hold it there if you want to read the description uh, feel free you can pause the video and read that if you want and uh, this is a story I haven't read myself. I know a lot of people have, have read these. And I would like to get uh, the comic books themselves uh, one day and read the story. Because from what I hear, it's a very uh, interesting uh, and exciting read. So we'll show you. There's the packaging. And here is the comic book itself. Which, or at least... Uh, it's a reprint of one of the, the issues of the comic. You know, it's this is issue number six, and look at the cover artwork. It's really cool. That just looks so dynamic. And I was flipping through this. I haven't read this. Uh, I probably won't bother reading this because it's just part of the story. I'm going to be sort of lost, kind of jumping in the middle of it. But as you can see, the artwork is just really nice. It's very beautifully done and vibrant. Uh, again, one of these days I'll have to pick up the uh, the whole book, uh, the whole collection of books, and so I can read the story, you know. But it looks very cool and exciting. I know there have been uh, they've gone on to do Crimson Empire two and three now. So, but there you go. But there's the comic book. Very nicely done. Of course, dark dark horse. Dark Horse Comics, excuse me, and they do they do some great work. And you can see down. I don't know if you could read this. They're Dorman, as in Dave Dorman, who did the cover art for this. And I have a uh, he's done a lot of Star Wars art for comic books and video games and things like that. So a very talented artist. So uh, I'm really a fan of his work. Okay, so we're going to. Just kind of try and prop this up just for the time being. And we'll give you a look at the figures. And they're two really great figures. Uh, the Basically, the, the molding and the articulation on these guys is exactly the same. It's just the articulation, uh, like I said, is the same. And the, uh, the paint apps are a little different. And the, the weapons are the same as, as well. But very cool looking figures. I love these capes, the 
the sky is a black cape and the other the other character has a red cape it's, it's this nice soft material it really flows well looks really nice on the figure I'll just give you just very well sculpted and painted so we can lift this up and you can get look all the way of the figure And here is the other the other character. This is Kirkanos. Again, the uh, the sculpt on these figures is pretty much the same. It's just the uh, the paint apps are are different. So they did a good job. As you can see, like the the knee joints, for instance, for instance. Uh, they did a good job of painting the joints the same color, so they blend in uh, pretty well. Same thing you can see with the other joints. Okay, just the red and the black just looks so dynamic. And uh, I'll go over articulation again, and it is the same on both figures. You have a bulge on the neck, bow and shoulders, swivel elbows, swivels at the, the gauntlets here, uh, swivel hips, and ball hinge knees, and that's it. There's no ankle articulation, and there's no waist articulation, which is a little disappointing. Uh, at the very least, I would have liked some waist articulation. And of course, ankle articulation would help uh, them in standing, but they stand pretty well. So, you know, again, they're they're older figures at that at this point, so the, you know, the articulation, if these were done now, maybe the articulation would be a little better, but they're still pretty well. They you can still get some decent poses. Uh, one thing, as I mentioned, the swivel elbows at ball hinged, which I think works well for these because you, it can really help you get great double-handed poses on these double-bladed staffs that they, that they have. So, for, so the swivel elbows I think work well uh, for these figures, even though they're genuinely not the the better idea as it's ball hinged elbows are a lot better f for figures but uh, it works pretty well for in this case okay now I'll give you a look at the accessories uh, first there is these staffs which are pretty much identical and there are they're very nicely they're nicely sculpted and painted you get the silver on the blades and the handle. They both come with the same staff, and they're you know they're pretty tall. They hold these weapons really well. Okay, and then the other weapon is this here. They have these little blasters. They're basically the same as the Biker Scout blasters, which we've seen before. Uh, you know, fairly well sculpted, but it's just all black, and it's this, each one comes with the same blaster. One thing I'll say is they do not hold this blaster too well. You can get it uh, in this hand uh, a little better, uh, but not too much in this, and they don't hold it too well. It's kind of loose. Uh, they do fit well in the holsters, as you can see. With this guy here, see there it is in the holster, so you can see it. Uh, you know, a little bit of maneuvering, you can get it in there, but I think most of the time you're going to pose them with, with these, like, double-bladed staff weapons, so. But the blaster, it, you know, it's a nice little touch. Now, one thing I want to show, of course, the, you know, these aren't clones or anything like that. So they, they do have removable helmets, and the face sculpts, there's two different characters. So they, their faces are, are different. They don't uh, look the same or anything like that. Uh, which is good and the face sculpts are, are really cool I'll show you and I'll start with Connor Jacks which little little plain but and it's a nice face sculpt now we get this focus there you know basic sort of human looking face sculpt There's nothing overly interesting there but it's 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 a nice face sculpt. It did a good job there. And then now, 
the more interesting two is this guy. It's Kirk Hanos. Uh, just doesn't want to focus. Oh, he won't focus. So you can see there. And he has this like red, like a like a slash on his face. I don't know if that's supposed to be face paint or like gets that in battle. Not sure. But it looks really cool. Again, he just won't. So hopefully you're getting a good look at this. Uh, you know, it's a little more interesting of a face than, than the other guy, but still both look really cool. Uh, one thing, now the articulation I said is a little bit uh, of a letdown, even though they're, they're uh, older figures. But one thing that's also a bit of a letdown, if you look, I'll put the helmet back on. And the helmet doesn't go down all the way. And you can't, he can't see. See, I gotta push it down, and there you could barely make out his eyes now. You, you let it up, and it's up, the visor is up by, above his eyes. So it's like, if this were a real guy, he'd be walking around and wouldn't be able to see this thing. So uh, the helmet doesn't fit too well with this. And the same for the other guy. So, so that is a, a bad point right there. So, so you have that, and then you have, here, I'll give you a look at the other one. Uh, this is more traditional looking. It's all red. So that's a bad point. And uh, the articulation isn't the greatest on these figures. But again, they're older figures. So it's it's sort of excusable. Okay. But overall, I still think these are really great figures. They're really cool looking. Uh, the black and the red just look so dynamic. Uh, the weapons are really well sculpted and look really great. They pose real well together. Uh, so... The lack of articulation, they still get some good posing in there. And again, the sil the as I said, the swivel elbows uh, work well for these these figures. So they're still good figures. I'm glad I got this set. Um, again, you could you could find this online at various prices, and I still would recommend it, uh, despite its shortcomings. They the the good things about these figures outweigh the shortcomings, I think. Uh, it's it's a wonderful set. Uh, you know, again, with these comic packs, you get two cool figures. You get this cool comic book that you can read. And they're just uh, a very good set to, to still pick up, uh, despite uh, the slight uh, shortcomings that, that the figures do have. But uh, I would still recommend them. But again, that's, that's up to you guys. So... I uh, hope you enjoyed this look at this latest compact I picked up. Again, uh, this is the Crimson Empire compact featuring Connor Jacks and Kirk I uh, hope you enjoyed this review. And your usual comment, rate, subscribe. And until my next vid, may the Force be with you.